Welcome back to Idaho Voyager, everybody. Today, I am doing a video on our Lance 2075 travel trailer that is a little bit overdue. We've owned this trailer now for two years. I've got several videos on everything to do with this trailer. You can check out the playlist on the top right-hand corner of the screen. Uh, for everything Lance 2075, but one video I've been wanting to do is to go into a deep dive on all the amazing outside storage on this unit and give you a step-by-step -step on exactly how I pack everything and break it all down for you. That's coming up next right here on Idaho Voyager. <music> All right, welcome back everybody. We are spending the weekend at beautiful Union Creek Campground outside of Baker City, Oregon on Lake Phillips. This is an awesome place, one of our favorites. It's only about a two and a half to three hour drive from Boise. And I've got a full campground review um, that you can click on the top right hand corner of the screen on that card if you want to look uh, at a little bit more detail regarding this campground. It's a really nice campground. The last time we were here was later in the summer and it was pretty smoky that year and the reservoir was about half full. This time around we're here on June 1st and it is so beautiful, still very very green and the lake slash reservoir is full. Now, with all that said, it's time to dive in to this particular video and we are going in depth on all the awesome storage on the Lance 2075. And uh, if you've seen our video on the top three likes, bottom three dislikes on this trailer, storage is really near the top of the list. Lance has done an incredible job of storage and in particular for a trailer of this size which is only uh, 24 feet 9 inches tongue tip of the tongue to the tip of the bumper this thing has a tremendous amount of well-placed storage that is so so convenient so let's take a peek and start at the back of the trailer. So this unit, one of the selling points when they first introduced the Lance 2075 that made it really unique was the outdoor kitchen and they put it here in the back. We ordered this from the factory and we actually optioned ours without the outdoor kitchen. It was a personal preference. We really felt like it wasn't gonna be for us and it was a pretty significant price point to add that option but really the key decision point was the fact that it opened this up for just storage which i love let's take a look so we've got a key lock there and then we just turn those on the ends and then we've got a little magnet here so when we open the door it stays open and voila this section is where we keep all our camping equipment so no hoses no wrenches no gloves none of that stuff this is our outdoor living area in one amazing storage space and so here we keep our Outland grill, which fits perfectly right here. We've got our mat that we put outdoors. We've got a trash can, two camp chairs, two folding tables, a few little accessories, bags like um, um, candles for keeping the bugs away. And then over here, we have got our electric griddle. And so that is a super convenient, well-organized space where we know we've got all of our camping gear 
at our fingertips in a confined, secure location that's easily accessible. Love that. All right, now at the front here, there's an awesome storage compartment, which I call my junk drawer. And if we open this up, it's got a slam latch door that's pretty robust. And it's got a pull-out tray, which is super convenient. And uh, again, my junk drawer. We keep trash bags in here, my knee pads. I keep a few uh, bike locks in here, some gloves. I've got some... Uh, duct tape, extra bungees. I got my toolbox, um, two little toolboxes here. And then back here, I keep some extra zip ties. I keep a kit for our cell phone extender. And then in the back, we've got some stuff to hang on the awning, some little wind socks, and then a few other little nooks and crannies. And so this drawer is always very accessible. It's kind of a fluid kind of situation with what I put in here, um, but just overall, just super, super convenient, lots of space, and it just goes right away with a little nudge, and that just tucks right in there, which is really cool. There is a light in here. So this light right here actually lights up the front cap this is the light for the storage, which is just a touch light, which is very nice. And then this is a really nice feature that came from the factory. This is actually a folding lifetime table. And there's a slot where it just slides right in there out of the way, which is a very nice touch. And we really use that a lot um, for our outside grilling. We put it right here. We've got an electric plug right there. And we put our electric griddle on there and that's our outdoor kitchen. And then on either side of the trailer, we've got two little compartments that are vented. And this has got the pull out battery trays, which is a super cool and unique way to position the batteries. Typically you'll find them on the tongue. This is a really nice way to keep them locked and out of the way, especially if you um, upgrade to lithium, which are quite a bit more expensive. You can lock those in here. They're protected from the elements and just very, very nice touch and very well done by Lance. And there's one on each side. Right here at the front, we've got just a cap for the propane bottles. There's room for three propane bottles. We only carry two, um, but that's just a nice little cap. More for aesthetics than anything. Makes everything kind of flow a little bit better. Um, don't mind that one bit. All right, coming around to the road side of the trailer, you can see the other battery compartment. And then you noticed in that junk drawer on the uh, curbside, we have that pull-out tray. It is not a pass-through, and the reason is there is a separate compartment on this side, and you can see it's got venting. And what Lance did with this compartment is they designed it specifically to carry a generator. Now, you can see we don't have a generator in here. At this point in time, we haven't really been using our generator much. And so what I've done is I've turned this into what I call my garage. Now you can see I actually created a shelf here and I've got a video top right hand corner of the screen where you can see how I built that shelf. But you can see here my garage consists of all my tow equipment and tools. I've got my chocks, my um, wrenches, I've got my uh, tongue blocks, some um, warning markers if I'm out parked somewhere, um, and gloves, and basically everything that I need for uh, setting the trailer up and for towing purposes. And um, I'll also keep my chocks in there, and it's just a super convenient place. And I love having the garage separate from everything else. And so you can start to see a theme here where uh, the storage on this trailer is so 
plentiful and so well designed that I'm able to customize each storage space for a specific application, which is really, really cool and just makes it not only easy, convenient, but also um, I think makes it a little bit more enjoyable. All right, now this is kind of a bonus little storage area. And this is kind of very emblematic of the way Lance gives you a little bit extra storage where otherwise it would have been easy to just bypass it. They have created this cool little space here that can be used for anything. Some people keep a hose in there. Obviously, it's, it's, it's very versatile. The one thing it isn't is um, it's not a watertight compartment, but it's super convenient. And for me, it's a perfect fit for my Anderson leveling blocks. They fit perfectly, and it's so cool to just have a separate space for those. Super easy in and out, and that's where I keep those, which is really nice. Okay, so we're continuing on the roadside of the trailer um, you're kind of starting to see a theme the the storage just goes on for days which is the way I like it so on this side there is a compartment here that at first blush does look like more storage but in this case it houses the wonderful Truma Combi furnace and hot water heater system. Uh, so it's a really cool space in terms of access. There just isn't any extra storage there. That would be here. So this is another really great spot here and super convenient. So right here, I keep my fresh water. That's where I keep all the potable water hoses and um, accessories. And then we've got the black tank bucket. That's where I keep everything for the black tank. So always keep those completely separate, but they stack really neatly right there. And then right here, I keep the electrical cord which is now in use, and I just stuff it in this bag, and then I put it right in that shelf right there. And you can see in the back, it actually has room for a bucket where we keep some supplies for washing our dog, Josie. But you can see how big it is in there. So this is such a cool space. And with the water and electric hookups right here, it is super convenient to have everything organized right here at my fingertips next to the water and electrical stations. So just a real slam dunk here by Lance with this extra space. I love it. Okay, and finally, we have some extra storage in the bumper. So if it wasn't enough in terms of all the storage we have talked about, we have a lockable, bumper and here we keep the sewer hose and a couple of gray tank hoses obviously we don't use those for potable and uh, so we have an extension hose right here a regular hose and then a couple of other little uh, garden hoses that we use uh, if we need to um, have a trickle out on the gray tank. Uh, but mostly the sewer hose lives here and it's just super cool to have a separate space for this. And again, um, I know it's a cliche, but everything in its place, a place for everything, that certainly applies with this trailer. All right, so there you have it from Union Creek Campground in Eastern Oregon. That puts a bow on the outdoor storage for the Lance 2075. If you're a fan of the channel and you've seen all our videos on this trailer, you know we're a big fan. With that said, no trailer is perfect. However, when it comes to outdoor storage, I would challenge anyone, anywhere to find me a trailer of this size with as much practical, useful, 
and thoughtful storage as this baby. It is far and away one of the shining stars of this particular model and we love it. It makes life so much easier when we're camping. It makes it so much better in terms of staying organized and uh, we are very, very happy. So uh, if you have any questions or if you have comments on storage with travel trailers in general or RVs, feel free to join the conversation. And as always, really appreciate you taking the time to check out our channel. If you enjoy the content and find it valuable and entertaining, make sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time right here on Idaho Voyager.